Hello everyone, today I would like to talk to you about the new buyer and buyer agent agreement. Some of you may already, if you are on the market of shopping for a house, some of the agents already talking, starting to have a conversation with you uh, about this agreement. Some of you may not. So today I would like to go over a very high level detail, a high level information about the form so that you are aware of the situation and what that means to you, all right? With that, let's dive right into the information. Right here in front of you is the new buyer broker agreement. Sorry about the cover up. So here it is, okay? So this is the new form because of the recent change in the commission uh, basic, uh, the commission of the real estate agent. This form is required from now as a buyer go shopping for a house, you are required to have this form signed so that you you are aware that there is one agent represent you for the entire transaction. As a result, it is highly recommended that the buyer interview a couple of buyer agents before go see houses with one person to make sure that one person is the right fit for you, okay? Um, because basically in this form, obviously you see here the first paragraph here indicates uh, the buyer name and the broker, the company and the agent that are uh, associated with the contract who represent you. Okay. And from fly four, five and six, you can see that this is an agreement between uh, both parties. When I say an agreement, that means it has legal um, uh uh, legal aspect of it, right? That means you are bind to the legal and then you have to follow all the terms and conditions listed in the contract. And what is the terms and the condition here, okay? Line 9 and line 10 specify the time in which you are committing to each other. Line 9 and line 10 here, okay? So that means you uh, have to Set up, specify the starting date and the end date of that relationship. Uh, uh, you cannot you cannot just m make it open forever. It has to have a start and it has to have an end. If at the end of the day, um, if during this period you buy any houses, okay, you can say, hey, I gotta sign this agreement and I never pay the buyer agent. No, well, you cannot because I'm gonna tell you more section below here. When you sign this agreement, regardless of how you find a house, okay, you may still have to pay for the buyer agent, okay? For the, the portion of the commission within this period, okay? So this period is really important. Some of you don't don't just say, hey, I just gonna sign it and I don't buy. So what well, and, and, and I don't buy. But okay, then you don't buy within that period, right? But if you find a house, you like it, and then you buy it, then you all you 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 as a buyer has to pay the commission for the buyer agent. The agreement also specified the criteria of the property. For example, is it going to be a residential property, single house, condo, or townhouse? Okay. Is this going to be a land or is this going to be a commercial property? Right. In which geography? Okay. So, for example, in Maricopa County or in Arizona. In another word, if you sign a contract with me, then I only represent you for the property that you buy in Arizona or Maricopa County. If anywhere else beside that, then you don't have to pay me. For example, if you pay in California, if you if you buy a house in California, you don't owe me that commission, okay? Um, uh, or maybe in this one, if you only allow them to show one property, then you only own the commission on that one property as well, okay? So uh, that is very important because you have to specify kind of the area and kind of the type of properties if you thinking about having, for example, multiple agents represent you, one agent for residential, one agent for land, and one agent for commercial, or maybe multiple agents in the different geographical edge area. Okay. Um, the other important part is the fee. From so from line twenty eight to like thirty six, right? Um, that specify the amount of 
you committing to pay the agent, okay, at closing. Uh, it could be a percentage like like for 34, or it could be a dollar amount in, in like 35, or anything. It has to be specified here. Very clear, very detailed of how the buyer agent get paid. Because technically, um, regardless of how you buy the house, if you see this 20 and 23, this is a no, okay? If you go see a model home, new home on open house, and the seller refused to pay the buyer and the, 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 the buyer agent commission, then you as a buyer still responsible for that. So this the the the, the document here is very important. It's a legal document, and therefore you have to specify, uh, pay attention to the number that you own, uh, the compensation that that's specified in here as well, so that you are no surprise about that. Now I know this is only the first page of the document. There are more terms and condition uh, specified here as well for the next two page. For the scope of this video, I do not have time to go over everything. But basically, the next the next two pages is talk about um, what if the seller pay? Do I do you still own right? What if the seller pay? For example, if you only commit to pay two percent to the buyer agent and the the seller pay three percent, what happened in that situation? Or in the other hand, in 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 contradictory, if the seller only willing to pay one percent. What happened in that situation? So there's much more detail here that needed. If you are interested in learning more detail of the form, feel free to contact me, and I will more than happy to schedule a time to talk to you in person. Okay? You can text the word commission to 480-480-7948. Okay? And now I just want to emphasize your contract has to have the expiration date. What happened if you buy a house before the expiration day, the type of properties and the area that you are going to uh, have the contract with that one agent and how much you pay. Everything is in uh, page one of the contract. If you're interested to learn about page two and page three, feel free to contact me. Text the word commission 480-480-7948. Thank you. Bye -bye.